Well, children, let me tell you how hard it is not being famous. I don't know what the... Not being famous is very difficult. You have to understand. I mean, it smells like cigarette. That's great. Some girl called me ma'am the other day. Do you think Lady Gaga gets called ma'am? I was out in public. I'm 21 years old. I was out in public. She called me ma'am. Ma'am. Who fucking does that? Ma'am. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm just kidding. I don't smoke. What are you? Do you see those videos from MTV about the truth? If I was famous, I wouldn't have to deal with the truth. I wouldn't have to watch the truth. I wouldn't know anything about the truth. The truth will set me free. The truth is on MTV. Bars! I don't have a car for the next four days. I found out my car had to go to the place where they bring cars. If I was famous, I wouldn't even have to deal with that. I could just buy a new car. It wouldn't be a big deal. I wouldn't need to do anything about it. I have to do ugly, poor people things like take public transport and deal with people sitting behind me that I didn't expect and graffiti and other ugly people things. Like, very difficult out here for people, you know. What do you know? I went into the city and I saw a theater because, you know, if I was famous, I would be in the show. But, but poor people can't afford to be in theater these days. You only get into theater if you're a famous person, right? Mm -hmm, mm hmm I sit in the audience. You are on the stage. <laughs> I went into the middle of Times Square and no one spoke to me. No one attacked me. It was so rude. If I was famous, I would have been flooded with people. But I wasn't. The only person that came up to me was a man in an Olaf costume. Hello. Of what? Forget it, forget it. Okay. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Hooray. Ow. I have anxiety all the time now. Famous people don't deal with anxiety. They can afford true insurance. Fancy rich people things like mental health care. That's what that's all about. I DM James Charles asking him to do my makeup and he didn't answer. Can you believe that? If I was famous, he would have answered. I assume so. That makes sense. That makes sense. I saw that someone gets to call Alan Cumming Daddy for a few weeks because there's a new show where it's called Daddy and Alan Cumming is going to be in it. And I said to myself that I'm not famous enough to call Alan Cumming Daddy, but someone out there is. I had to wait in line. In line. It's so upsetting. So sad, really. I keep sticking this in my mouth. Don't worry, it's just wood. There's nothing here. I'm not famous enough to be smoking cigarettes like... Cole, Cole, Cole Sprouts. I'm not famous enough to be smoking cigarettes and making it look effortless and charming, darling. Like I'm in The Outsiders or some shit. Like Cole Sprouts. I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. You know, or, or fancy enough to be like his brother and Barbara Palvin posing in the nude together. There's a photo of him wearing like an Oculus Rift and she's got her fingers in her, his mouth. I'm not famous enough for something like that. I mean... <laughs> I'm writing a book. I don't know, nothing will come of it, but... I mean... I, I... I just thought it would be relevant to mention that. You know, I'm, I'm fancy enough to be writing a book. 
That doesn't really mean much though. I hate musical theater. Oh God. I just hate it. I almost applied for a job at a coffee shop. A fucking coffee shop. What am I, some sort of hipster? I have 800 followers on Instagram, I might as well not exist. I might as well be dead. I make a meme. I post it on Twitter. I get two retweets. I could be dead. Because I'm not some niche meme Instagram page. Made by some sad boy with a nose ring. All sad boys with nose rings look the same. Timothy Shamalong, Ding Dong, Troy Ace, Van, Curtis Connor, Jerem Bot. Jeremy, whatever. Every boy who's ever played Evan Hansen and Dear Evan Hansen, they all look the same. I'll never be famous enough to be in Dear Evan Hansen. I'll never be average enough to be famous enough to play a white boy. Right? That's the whole idea. Everyone has to look the same. You have to look like you're some sort of Pinterest pale Tumblr model. Like you could have a nosebleed and it would be aesthetic. That would be... The ideal, wouldn't it, if I was just bleeding right now? If I looked like I'd been punched in the face, that's the mood. The aesthetic, right? <clears throat> no, I'm not famous enough for that. Taxes. I have to do my own taxes. I have college debt. College debt. Famous people don't have college debt. Famous people go to college for free. That's how that works, obviously. Famous people don't go- Who am I kidding? Famous people don't go to college. I have a degree. I'll never be famous. Last night, I was in the same bathroom as Imogen Lloyd Webber. That's the closest I'll get to fame and fortune in my life. You know what that is? Of course you don't. Who am I kidding? That's the daughter of Andrew Lloyd Webber. One time, I held the door open for Ariana Grande's mother and grandmother. That was an accident, really. It did happen. Nona Grande, they call her these days, right? <coughs> I'm running out of incense. I'm insensitive. <laughs> Bars. Bars. I could never be a rapper. End up sometime behind. Bars. I wish Mick Jagger was alive. Mick Jagger would fix all of this. Mick Jagger wouldn't have allowed this to happen. David Bowie would have. David Bowie would have run a Mish Neem page. Yeah. I'm not famous enough for that. I wish I was Rami Malik. Just because. I can't afford fancy clothing. I keep wearing my dad's sweatshirts. It's gotten to the point that he's threatened to hit me for wearing. <laughs> I've never been to free people. I could never free the people. I'm not famous enough. I went into anthropology. They spelled it wrong. I could never be famous enough to spell a word wrong and get away with it. Anthropology? G? Their bath bombs cost $30. I could never be famous enough for that. I had to take New Jersey Transit. New Jersey Transit. I had to take an escalator. How these people don't take escalators? The only famous person who's ever taken an escalator in his life is Timmy Turner. That's the only person. And that's only because he went to Escalator Land with his family to spend a productive, wonderful, enriching experience with his mother and, fa mother and father to spend the day together as if they were a great adventure. Dad, when do we get to the ride? This is the ride! Yippee! Yippee! The only famous person who's ever taken an escalator in his life. <laughs> I go outside, no screaming fans. I go to work. No one wants to take a picture with me, except tourists, sometimes. No one tries to give me discounts at Aeropausdale. I don't shop at Aeropausdale. I don't shop there. I've never even been in an Aeropausdale. One time I went into Hollister, I got scared because it was dark and loud and smelled funky. And then I walked in and an attractive man, a white man in his 20s, gave me a dirty look. So I turned around and I left. The only time I've ever been in Hollister. I'm not famous enough for that. I'm not famous enough to be put on the forefront of Hollister giving people dirty looks when they walk in. I'm not famous enough for that. What a life these people must lead. I bet you that guy had more than 800 followers on Instagram. Probably girls would walk in, see him and be like, what's your Instagram? 
What is your handle? Hell, I was sitting on the bench at New Jersey Transit and a man had written his at handle to telling people to follow him. He's more famous than me. Every person that sits their ass down on that seat is following him on Instagram. What a life. What a world. Twitter. Twittering. Twittering. Twitter. Amount of incense. Nonsense to incense. Bars. Not even famous enough to afford another one. Just kidding.